video, we are going to do, what are we going to do? Let's do face and LMS, WAW 1.1. I don't know who these people are, but, oops, not that. Face and LMS, WAW 1.1. Is that what it was? The red pill on what, oops, on what attracts women. Oh my god. Is it true women like good looking guys? Oh, shocking. The shocking truth. Um, okay. Wow. 39 videos. Fucking lots of views on here, huh? Okay, whatever. Somebody asked me to do it. I'm going to do it. If you guys have any other recommendations for videos or YouTubers, let me know. Leave me a commentarino. Looks don't matter. It's all about confidence and personality. And even if looks do matter, I'm okay, because I think I'm about a 7 or 8 out of 10 in looks anyway. There has to be a reason, unrelated to my looks, why I can't date the women to whom I'm heavily attracted. At worst, I'm a 6. There is no way I'm average looking or below. Anyway, surely being at least average looking is enough, right? My Eve blue -built thinker. It's said that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but if you, along with most other people, think that the guy on the left is the more attractive, then this is proof that that saying is a comforting lie. How much do looks matter? Can having a lot of money improve a man's dating life? Does being high status allow you to be the selector of women? Looks. Money. Status. We'll look at how each of these affects a man's attractiveness and why. LMS. We'll also look at several truths that no one wants to acknowledge. I ran a fake but believable dating profile on online dating site Plenty of Fish or Poff using pictures of a good-looking male model. I named him Carl. Within minutes of the profile going live, Carl was in... Oh, I wonder sometimes why people ask me to do these videos. It's like, because you have to think, like, who who is this message trying to appeal to, right? Th this is like one of these things. It's like, wh why would why would you watch this, right? Like, f forget about this video. Let's forget about it for a second. Let's, let's forget this video was never made. And I just asked you, do you think looks matter to women? What would you say? You'd probably say yes, right? Uh, unless you're like... I don't know who would say no to that. Like who would actually say no? The dumbest fucking person in the world is going to say yes. Right. Um, does money matter to women when, when a woman is kind of deciding, I guess, how seriously wants she wants to take you? Do you, do you think money matters? Yeah. It's safe to say that it does matter. Right. And what status do you think status matters? Are women more likely to date a guy who has low status or a guy who has high status? Probably a guy who has high status. So like, I don't, I don't understand what this is. Well, I guess I do understand uh, th this, this video is for people who like are looking for an excuse as to why they don't have what they want instead of going and actually working for what they want. Like, wh why do you not have the, I've, I've said this a million times. I say this in every fucking video about this, right? The reason you don't have the women in your life that you want to have in your life is because you are not actively going out there and trying to approach them and getting them to like you, despite the fact that you might be deficient in looks, money, and or status. Um, that's number one. Okay, we'll come back to that, I'm sure, later on in the video. Number two, online dating is not the real world. Okay, online dating is a very specific way of selecting who you want to actually talk to. So by saying like, oh, looks matter because, and looks do matter. I'm not saying they don't matter. Like I, I said this before, yes, looks, all this stuff matters, but it's not the only thing that matters and they can be overcome with a fucking good personality, shockingly. Um, if you have an online dating profile, of course you're going to be judged on your looks because that's what people, that's all you can really see from that. And if you have a guy who looks like a fucking male model with professional pictures, of course that guy's going to crush it and get a lot of fucking replies or not even replies can get a lot of messages so like is is this for like bitter men who are like oh women are such women are whores i want my virgin wife you know they only want the they only want chad inundated with women messaging him he averaged a new unsolicited message about every 10 minutes the opening message was usually a reference to his good looks you're hot so gorgeous hello handsome you clicked on me because you thought i had a good personality well no i clicked on you because you're fucking hot <laughs> 
Carl's personality didn't seem to matter that much. If it's Carl's confidence that is attracting the women, why do they mention his looks? Is it just a coincidence that a good-looking male model happens to get so many messages from women? It's often said that confidence is one of the most attractive traits that a man can have, but I proved this to be bullshit. I made Carl as unconfident as possible, but women were still attracted to him because he's good-looking. Carl spoke to Amy. Hi, how are you? Very single and pathetic. Hm, you? Huh, isn't everybody on here? I'm single too. Duh. Huh, no about pathetic. Notice how being single and pathetic isn't so much of a turn-off when the guy is facially attractive. As with most of the girls that Carl spoke to, he got Amy's phone number. But when Amy didn't receive the phone call that Carl promised, she was pissed. Must have missed that call last night then, eh? Well, Butrin is a drug prescribed to people suffering bouts of depression, so it's probably not the best thing to bring up when you're trying to create a good- I love Wellbutrin. I bring that shit up all the time. Uh, that's number one. Interesting. So when you have, like, it's it's generally, like, well known that, like, if, if you are, if you're talking to a girl and she's, like, nervous around you because you either have looks, money, or status, right? Which, by the way, confidence can give the appearance that you have status, let's say. Um, like, what's what's the hack here, right? The hack is being able to go into a social situation, a very immediate, real-time, extremely <coughs> very difficult to doctor type of experience, right? Where you're, you're in a room with other people. There's no online dating profile. You can't take your time answering questions. You can't choose pictures with the perfect angles. It's literally real-time, and whatever happens in that moment cannot be deleted. You understand? Um, the hack is being able to control that situation and dominate the room at any given time so that you appear to have the highest status at that moment. That's the hack, right? And if you, th that's number one. Number two, if, if you have any of those three things, if you have looks, money, or status, if you have so much to the point where the girl is, is very attracted to you, um, and you you brag about it, right? Let's let's say the girl from from her sp perspective. Let's say she's down here and you're up here because you have looks, money, status. You're a model. You're a fucking billionaire. What fucking Leonardo DiCaprio, whatever. And you you talk like a cocky asshole. That's not good. Sh she'll get even more scared and insecure, and like her attraction will disappear. But if you admit things like, oh, I'm I'm pathetic. I'm I'm really shy. Whatever. She sees that as like number one. You're kind of like bringing yourself down a little bit. Plus, she also thinks you're kind of like full of shit. Like obviously this guy, like a fucking male model, he's obviously not pathetic, right? You understand? That's that's called like banter and can be easily misinterpreted in a fucking text message on an online dating site. So like, I, I wonder, is this guy actually this dumb that he believes this? Or is this satire to like make fun of fucking stupid people? Um, I really don't get it. And and to that point, a very good opener, if you're, if you're going out, I've used this opener many times when I've gone out and I'm shocked at how well it works, is you go up, I, I would go up to girls and, and tell them basically like, hey, what's up? Um, I'm actually really shy and I have a problem talking to people. So I just thought I would come over and like introduce you guys as a way to get over my shyness. And they never, they're like, oh yeah, sure, sure, whatever. You're really shy. Uh-huh. What's your name? Where are you from? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm, I'm actually telling the truth. Like I actually am shy. It is actually hard for me to go over and talk to new people. That is, those are all true statements, but they, they don't believe it. They don't buy it. And just the act of actually doing that helps you kind of get over it. Kind of a little side note. Good first impression with a woman. That is, of course, unless you're good looking. Carl spoke to Daniela. I wish I could travel that much, but I'm broke and kind of depressed too. The well butrin helps, but not much. Anyway, it would be good to get to know you. Haha, <laughs> good. Are you a pro addicted then? Zoloft is also good for this. Hee <laughs> hee. After a sexy, seductive discussion about antidepressants, Carl was able to draw the phone number. If it isn't as easy for you to draw a woman's phone number, maybe it's nothing to do with your approach. Just maybe you might not be as attractive as you tell yourself. The messages from women kept coming, but I wanted to push the boundaries even further. How much could Carl get away with if he had various unattractive personality traits, appeared lacking in confidence, displayed zero game, and even came across with very little social awareness? Are women that influenced by looks? The results were eye-opening. <laughs> Carl spoke to LJ. Shit pictures, I mean just really awful. Nice. I'd love to see some not taken from above at an angle. Why bother messaging if you're not interested, Rick? And while we're on the topic, I'd love to see some not pulling that ridiculous facial expression. Who said I wasn't interested? So you insult girls when you're interested in them? A few good looking moments later. Haha, ha. just promise you won't be a prick when I need you, huh? Carl spoke to Hyper, a woman with an East Asian heritage. I wanted to open this interaction with a message that showed appreciation and respect for her Asian heritage, culture, and language. Ching Chong Chang, do you want to bang? Hi. Huh, nice bit of casual racism. I'm in, like, but not rich. In fact, I'm the poorest guy you'll ever meet. Where are you? You still haven't told me what kind of guys you go for. Tall, short, black, white, Asian, Indian, muscles, skinny, beard, strong jawline. Huh, sorry, I was washing my hair. I prefer a tall guy. I'm not overly fussed. I wouldn't say I have a particular type. I'm in Tottenham. You're really selling yourself to me, huh? To be honest, I'm a terrible human, but I know that I like talking to you. Isn't that the important part? <laughs> so what did your last three boyfriends look like in terms of height, face, race, hair, body, etc.? I've only had three boyfriends. The last two played rugby and were well over six foot. White, broad, dark, huh? Maybe I... 
right. Do you have a type? What about you? Prior to this conversation, Hyper probably thought that she liked any guy who had confidence and a good personality. Women are often oblivious to their attraction towards physical attractiveness in males. And things get even more intense. Okay, so let's like look at this from like a game perspective, right? What women are looking for in online dating, uh, lots of things, obviously, blah, blah, blah. But like, if you're, if you're willing to risk the interaction, right? That's, that's something that like, is, is good, apparently, right? If, if you're willing to like send a first message, that's not, hey, how are you? Ask them some fucking dumb question about like the picture of them with an elephant. Like if you, if you say, send something that like shows that you're not looking for um, like validation from her, that's, that's kind of what they like. And like, okay, fine, for sure. If you're like a male model, it's gonna be much easier for you. Like, I, I don't, I honestly don't understand the point of this video. And the way that this guy is talking, he sounds so bitter. He's like, women say that they don't like looks, but I made a profile with a male model and like said some rude things to women and they all still like me anyway. So therefore, women are whores. Go support me on Patreon. It's like, <sighs> yeah, like looks and money matter. Fucking status matters. It all matters, okay? Like stop fucking crying about it. It actually matters. Your race matters. Your height matters. Your fucking teeth matter. Everything matters, everybody, okay? Like get over it. Fucking improve those things but also improve your fucking personality. Like, honestly, this, this guy doesn't seem like, I, I don't know, maybe he's like crushing it in the world. Probably not, but maybe he is, you know, I don't know. Um, go out there and work on your fucking social skills. Like those matter too. Nobody ever mentions those. Obviously they're not gonna matter on fucking Tinder because that like, they're gonna judge you based on how you look. Like clearly, like what's, what's your point here? Like water is wet, you know what I mean? Hence, the more good-looking the fake male model profile you use, I want to stick it in you. Damn, I don't usually respond to messages like that, but you're way too sexy to ignore, huh? What's your number, gorgeous? Nine, one, seven, six. Women everywhere respond the same. Hey. Give me a number now. Shouldn't we get to know each other first? We can get to know each other when I'm fucking you. I'm not like others. Give me a number and we will see what happens. Um, but just because you are so fucking hot. Zero seven. It literally became an administrative nightmare trying to reply to women and document, screenshot, and organize the results. At times, I forgot to reply to certain women because of time constraints and a backlog of received messages. We'll take a closer look at the conversations you've seen here and more throughout the show. Women often say that confidence, a great personality, and game are the most attractive traits in a man. But what they say and how they behave have... So, ironically, I, I guess nobody noticed this, but, like, the messages that he was sending were all very cocky, confident messages. Like, does, did nobody notice that? Like, give me your number. That's a very confident thing to say. Like, you say, give me your number because you expect the person will give you the number. And they say, like, shouldn't we get to know each other first? We can do that when I'm fucking you. That's a very confident thing to say, right? That's, that is the attractive trait that, you know, okay, fine. Being a male model h helps for sure. But those are actually really good lines that, like, I, I think I'm going to try and use next time I fucking do any online dating in America. Like, absolutely. Like, I'm, I'm like, writing these down. They're so good. Um, you know what I mean? Like, those, those are confident things, you know? That, that's some shit that like your average guy is not going to say he's willing to risk the interaction and it's like it's just confident like you know period have been proven in behavioral studies to be two different things frank alconnor dropped some uncomfortable truths in his talk on the psychology of love the last criteria that i want to talk about I don't wanna, it's not one of these things well i'm attracted to their personality well no what we're attracted we are attracted to attractiveness babies spend more time looking at culturally attractive faces than unattractive faces people who are artificially disfigured and in fact if we had somebody in this room right now and i took him you know a theater department and had them artificially disfigured and they were sitting here people wouldn't sit around them people sitting on, a, on, a, on this experiment was done in new york having people on a, on, a, on a subway train and they had you know like a big star or something people would not sit by them we don't we, we are we migrate towards attractive people now what does that mean well there is culturally attractive you know some of these folks here and they're popular because they're culturally attractive in fact we associate attractiveness with all positive qualities we assume that attractive people are smarter we assume that attractive people um uh, do better things for the world that they get in trouble less in fact we assume that they are less promiscuous in every study that's been done it shows that we believe that ugly people actually have sex in, in, in a uh, inappropriate way more than attractive people so we attribute all good things to attractive people which is why they're more successful because we well they should be right now what does attractiveness mean though because there is a cultural norm that you have a face that is symmetrical, that both sides are essentially the same. Um, high cheekbones, small nose in proportion to your face. You have an attractive mouth. And there's a slight variation between men and women. And here's what's interesting when you do surveys of women and you have men and women, men are right up front in placing attractiveness in their top three. Women place it lower on their scale five, six, seven, eight. But in fact, when you evaluate women's behavior, it's no different than men. So women say attractiveness doesn't matter. But in fact, when you evaluate the behavior, it does. Frank Alcona's last statement is an example. Oh my God. Are, so are you telling me that sometimes women say things that are actually not true? Oh my, I had no idea. I never actually noticed that on my own. I, I thought they always just told the truth all the time immediately without like lying about anything.
You know what I mean? Um, it's a famous uh, quote. I think it, I think it's Nietzsche who said like women are basically a walking, talking lie, right? Their their whole life is a lie. Their whole appearance is a lie, right? Whether it's like accessories, makeup, fashion, the way they act in public. No offense, lady. I'm not like I'm not not saying anything bad about you, but like if you think about it, like women will will wear makeup to make themselves look more attractive. They'll buy the right clothes to flatter their like make their body look more attractive. They wear you know high heel shoes to make their body look more fucking picturesque. Whatever, you know what I mean. They'll take pictures of themselves at exactly the right angles on Instagram to give the appearance that they look differently than they actually do. They use apps like Facetune to fucking make themselves look even better, right? Um, so, you know, okay, like that's reality dog. Like, are, are you, are you upset that they lied about it? Is, is that what this is? You're, you're upset that they're, that they said that it was, that they didn't value attractiveness. That's number one. Number two, Brad Pitt is not successful because he's good looking. Will Smith is not successful, successful because he's good looking. Those people work to get to where they are. And it's not like somebody came to them one day and was like, Hey, I want to make you an actor in some fucking movie do you want to do it? And they were like, okay, sure. And they just like walked over there and like sat there quietly just being attractive and they got everything hands to them. Looks and money matter. Or let's talk about looks because this all seems to be really about looks at this point. Um, Looks do matter and they will give you an advantage with what you want to do. But just because you're fucking ugly or disfigured and nobody wants to sit next to you at some conference does not mean that eventually they will want to sit next or they eventually they will not want to sit next to you right it does not mean that it's just because you're disfigured and nobody wants to sit next to you does not mean it's impossible to get them to want to sit next to you and to have them like you even more than somebody who's good looking is what i mean okay so like that's that's what people we're, we're so into this like immediate gratification and like i don't want to have to work for what i have and i just want to do things the easy way and like i want to only talk to girls through online dating so i don't have to like risk rejection in front of actual people so if i'm not good looking then i have no options because i'm too scared to talk to girls in public anyway and get past past that initial awkwardness phase show my personality maybe because i'm i'm like a bitter troll on the internet maybe because of that or maybe you're just insecure and and you maybe possibly don't really believe that that's even possible um but anyway the point is that like yes those things do matter they will give you an advantage initially but if you have a disadvantage let's say in one of those areas that does not mean that you're not like that you have no chance you obviously have a chance everybody always has a chance and to believe that you don't have a chance like what what's what's your purpose for being alive you don't think you have a chance like why why are you still here like you know what i mean you gotta believe pull of red pill truth red pill thinking is embracing the sometimes painful truth the blue pill is blissful ignorance. Blue pill thinking is naively trying to see the best in mankind, circumstances, and forces. The red pill is hard to deal with, is often offensive, and is usually taboo. The red pill makes people confrontational, upset, and invokes denial. The blue pill is comforting, encouraging, and inspires hope, even if unwarranted. The terms come from the Matrix movies in which the blue pill will return Neo to his everyday life, unaware of the harsh truth of reality, but the red pill will give him awareness of the truth. For instance, asking a woman if you're good looking if you aren't is sure to elicit a comforting blue pill response. You're okay. You're average looking. There's nothing wrong with you. Etc. Red pill ways of figuring out if a woman finds you good looking include Has she ever called you attractive, hot, or good looking unprovoked? Is she flirty with you? Does she talk to you beyond what's necessary? Has she made it easy for you to be intimate with her? An article in the UK's Daily Telegraph reads, 50 shades of subterfuge, rape charges as male model, offering sex in dark, turns out to be balding 68-year-old. A Frenchman masquerading as a 37-year-old male model, offering women 50 shades of grey type sex dates in the dark, is facing rape charges after they belatedly discovered he was a short, fat, and balding 68-year-old. A man calling himself Anthony LaRoche attracted much female interest on several dating websites after depicting himself as a young, mysterious Prince Charming, with a photo highlighting his smoldering gaze, square jaw, and designer stubble. Ad- Alright, so... Number one... Let's talk about what he said about red pill or blue pill. What he say, like if the the red pill inspires discussion, causes people to say they're in denial. So like, the, what are the implications of that? Is like, if you disagree with the red pill, you're just in denial, and if you're discussing it in a thoughtful, intelligent way, then you're like you're just wrong basically like anybody who disagrees with this is wrong and anybody who says anything other than what the red pill is if you're blue pill apparently um you're just delusional and like you're like lying to yourself and you're just wrong also basically um so that's a very i guess clever way of saying like if you don't believe the worst about people then you're wrong and delusional um in in my opinion I, i think it's entirely possible for you to start out lower whether in like this, is, I think this is all about looks. I, he hasn't mentioned money or status because these are all examples for looks. Um, 
but even with looks, you know, like for sure, if you're fucking six five, supermodel, like perfect cheekbones, perfect body, it's gonna be easy for you, way easier, abs- definitely. But that does not mean, again, that like it's impossible for you if you're not like that, you know, like, and, and that's really where the divide happens. Okay, like if you if you believe what I said, you have a chance, you're gonna make it. If you don't believe that, you're just not going to make it. I don't know what to tell you. Like, this is this is the equivalent of saying if you're not born with money, you'll never be rich. You understand? Like, you're not born with money. People don't like you if you don't have money, and if you don't have money, there's nothing you do to make money. So, fucking just kill yourself because you'll never be rich. You know, which is also ridiculous. Adding spice to the proceedings, Anthony proposed a blind date in which the two total strangers had sex in the dark on their first encounter at his flat in Nice, southern France. One such date, known only as Sylvie, forty, told police that she fell for the good-looking man with brown hair and blue eyes after coming across his profile on dating site Zusk. After a steamy text message exchange last year, he explained he wanted to play a game like in Fifty Shades of Grey to make things more exciting. Le Parisien newspaper cites her as saying, Once inside his dark flat, she was ordered to don a blindfold and then join Anthony in the bedroom. After having sex, and despite his reticence to turn on the lights, she flicked the switch to find herself in bed with a man of around 65, with glasses, balding, and all wrinkly. She is cited as saying, He didn't correspond at all to the photo. I felt total disgust. A second alleged victim known only as Layla had a similar experience. After sex, he didn't want me to take off the blindfold. When I insisted, he got angry. I ended up seeing his silhouette in the dark. He was old, pot with a big nose. Police arrested the 68 year old man, known only as Michelle, on March 17, placing him under formal invest- investigation for rape by surprise. His lawyer, Laurent Poumared, said at no time did his client force the women to have sex. Rape implies the absence of consent. Police subsequently discovered that two other women had filed similar legal complaints in 2009 and 2013. A quick note, before you say that the model that Michelle used wasn't that attractive, bear in mind that the average woman by 40 years old has experienced considerable loss in sexual market value and physical attractiveness. The first woman, Sylvie, was 40, so likely she would have considered herself lucky to snag the male model in the photo. The other woman may also have been middle-aged. You've been told that women are emotional and only care about the mood you create. That's blue pill bullshit. The women were so outraged by this man's looks that they considered he's misleading them as rape. Notice how they only considered it rape after they discovered that the man wasn't attractive? What does this mean? That a woman's perception of an encounter or experience with a man is largely dictated by how good looking she thinks he is. As you'll learn throughout this show, women often treat men according to their looks, money, and- uh, You've been told that women are emotional and only respond to the mood you create. Um, what year is this? Is this recent? 2016 so this is kind of old um back in the day it used to be common for the like the mainstream puas to to talk about how looks and money don't matter um they they've now changed it to say yes looks and money do matter but they're not the only thing that matter which is what what i say and and i i believe that the implication from what they used to say that looks and money don't matter is that yes looks and money do matter but they're not the only thing that matters right but people like latch on to that without allowing any more like nuance to like creep into it and they're like you said looks and money don't matter that it was all about the mood we created you said it was all about game you're just trying to sell pickup coaching but actually i found some studies that said that it was that looks do matter so you're wrong i feel lied to and by the way now i don't i have a convenient excuse to never work on my game and feel any sort of pain as a result of rejection which is i don't want to say it's a shame because Again, like I've said many times, these guys are just taking themselves out of the competition, further lowering the bar by acting like creepy weirdos who are so bitter that they're like, weren't born supermodels and just making it easier for me to come across as like a normal human being who's not worried about this shit. Um, that's number one. All right. So, so this uh, was 2019. I'm not sure if, if they were saying that back then, probably. Um, but again, like I said, okay, so let's, let's talk about this French guy. Like, is that rape? I don't know if that's rape because like he said, rape implies like against their will. Uh, is it, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure what crime this would be if they found out after the fact. I, I, I don't know. Th- like, is this rape? I, I don't know. I just kind of hesitate to call it rape. Is it creepy? Yes. Is it, sh- should he be prosecuted for something? I don't know. Honestly, I don't, I, 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 I want to say yes. Um, because this, like this, this should be discouraged somehow, Like he should not be allowed to continue doing this. And I, I think there should be some sort of punishment to discourage him doing this or anybody doing this in the future, but to call it rape, I think is not, this is not rape. Rape is very way worse I, when i think rape i'm thinking like a violent rape where like a woman is like actually held down and have her clothes fucking ripped off and like penetrated against her will like that's rape to me this is not like it's creepy it's disgusting the guy should be punished for sure is it rape i don't think so but i think there's just no other crimes that that there's there's no 
like rape is the only sex crime that this would like fall under um but yeah like again you know you want to believe this like okay go ahead like fine more for me i guess and like normal people who are you know willing to like get out there and put in the work and and risk our ego well you know i'm, I'm not doing that so much yet but i will i will very soon and status <laughs> Getting the truth about looks from women isn't easy, as Professor Frank Elconnor said earlier. Women say attractiveness doesn't matter, but in fact when you evaluate the behavior it does. Whether it be due to women's nurturing nature, a fear of being seen as shallow, or an evolutionary fear of causing confrontation, and thus being vulnerable, what women say is attractive, and what women say about attraction cannot always be taken as what they personally really feel. Directly asking a woman what makes a man attractive will net you abstract responses such as Confidence. Someone who can make me laugh. A good personality. Directly asking a woman if you're attractive, if you're average looking or below, will net you responses such as You look fine. You're average. There's nothing wrong with your looks. Or some of the most blue-pilled words of comfort ever. The right girl will come along when you stop looking. Rarely will a woman that you get along with call you unattractive to your face. This is likely the same mechanism that makes women soft-reject guys, more often than not, via lines like I have a boyfriend. I don't have a phone. No, you give me your number. I wouldn't want to ruin our friendship, but I don't know you. As opposed to the brutal truth. I'm not attracted to you. If you have a female friend, the likelihood is that she likes your personality. So ask yourself, why hasn't she expressed sexual interest in you? So it's women's behavior and how women treat men when there is no fear of judgment and no repercussions for discussing their tastes that indicate women's preferences. Here are some women discussing what they find attractive with no fear of judgment. There seems to be some commonalities between what they find attractive. In our experiment, most women chose one of these two guys here as their future husband. But when looking for a one-night stand, they tended to go for this guy here. And there's a good scientific reason for their choice. Why do you find these guys attractive? I like the cheekbones and the jaw. He's definitely like the strong jawline, the stubble, the eyes, the jaw. Yeah, my cheekbones. He's got little yes. darker eyes. I can imagine he's quite a uh, false pigbeard. <laughs> women find these things attractive because they're all signs of high testosterone, which means that the man is healthy and strong. We tend to think it's men who are ruled by their biology, but it looks like women are also very different after all. So women say attractiveness doesn't matter, but in fact, when you evaluate the behavior, it does. So, like, what do you want? Like, why? Why are you? Why? I, I don't remember who who told me to do this video, but like, why? What, what makes you think you have the right to be angry about this, I guess is what I'm asking. Like, w women like more attractive guys. If they're going to fuck a guy on a one-night stand, they want the guy to be as, as attractive as possible. Wait, are, are, you, are you mad? Or is everybody mad because they don't come right out and say that? Is that the problem here? Or is, it, is there some other reason? I, I don't understand where all this bitterness is coming from. Like, you have, you have female friends. They don't, they don't want to fuck you for, for some reason that's their right they don't have to it's also their right to fucking hint at why they don't want to instead of telling you directly why they don't want to maybe you're too needy maybe you're fucking fat maybe you're ugly like maybe your fucking fashion sucks like maybe you're not their type like what 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 is wrong with those answers what's wrong with those notions do you know what i mean like i'm all about this red pill stuff i believe it all i, I think it's all true really at the end of the day but the conclusion that i draw from it is that so what like work with what you've got play the game you know try and improve yourself so that you look more like that guy on the left that look is achievable you know fucking chew gum like lose weight so your fucking cheekbones pop out more like honestly after looking at that i, I want to like fast more to like get my cheekbones more hollow you know what i mean like if if that's not what you get from that if you're like oh my god these bitches they're lying when they're by themselves they say they want the guy with the strong cheekbones but my friend when i asked her if i was good looking she said i was average and that the right girl would come along that's somehow wrong i deserve what what do you think you deserve like actually like what this is what i don't understand about this like where's your sense of entitlement coming from like who do you think you are really like actually like what what makes you think you deserve positive attention from women women who are like arguably the the highest priced commodity in society what makes you think you deserve any of that if you don't have any of these three criteria like i'll tell you right now straight up you do not at all right like zero you have zero sense but you have you have you do not deserve any of it just like you don't deserve any fucking money if you're not out there busting your ass and working and you don't deserve any status if you're not out there fucking charming people with your personality you know you don't deserve women i guess if you're not fucking making yourself attracted to women which yeah has a lot to do with looks but you know what looks isn't just your fucking jaw okay it's the way you dress it's the way you carry yourself all these like blue pill ideas that like this guy doesn't want you to believe because a study said this and an article said that and when you ask women on the street this is what they said but guess what you don't ask a woman on the street okay fine you can ask her who would you rather have sex with this person is person but if you actually brought that guy out here she's not going to fuck him on the spot like no questions asked you know what i mean it doesn't work like that um yeah 
highly sought after men tend to have most of the following traits. Face, general leanness and visible bone structure, prominent high cheekbones, short philtrum, thick eyebrows, vertically narrow hunter eyes, eye spacing, about an eye's breadth, assuming other traits are also above average. Horizontal, lower eyelids, neutral or positive cancel tilt. Notice how the outer corner of the eyes of the man on the left are tilted downwards or sag, they have a droopy look. Forward grown, lower orbital rims, giving good under eye bone support, ensuring no under eye hollowness. Little to no upper eyelid exposure. A high facial width to height ratio. A compact mid face. The last two traits mentioned, a high rather than a low facial width to height ratio. And a compact mid face rather than a long mid face create the opposite or are the antithesis of what's colloquially known as a long horse face. Less nostril show, a nose that isn't too upturned, wide palate. Healthy white teeth with no gaps, a healthy bite, upper and lower teeth meet. Defined forward growth of the maxilla, mandible, and chin. Vertical, long, ramus. Broad, square, tall, protruding chin. Squarish, defined jawline with high hyoid. No under chin fat. Masculine brow ridge. Large skull. Hair. Squarish hairline. Thick healthy hair on crown. Little to no hairline recession. Little to no temple recession. Nord 0 to 1 on the Nord balding scale. Height. Taller than an average woman. Preferably taller than an average woman wearing heels. Ideally taller than 6 foot 1 in the West. Race, phenotype. Despite all these women having albinism, you can tell which is Asian, black, or white based on their facial features. Some people will simply. So that's very interesting. I didn't know any of those like exact details about facial structure. But I will say this like, okay, fine. You, you might not be able to get, where's that like first guy, right? You, you might not be able to ever look exactly like this guy. I think he might also have cheek implants, by the way, or jaw implants. Um, but guess what? If you fucking lose a lot of weight, you know, you'll look more like this guy. Like this guy clearly has a lot of fat on his face, right? But, but you can like, there's this whole meme on 4chan about squinting, right? How all these models will kind of like squint, right? This guy, he, he's, this is squinting. You know what I mean? This guy has his eyes open normally. You'll, you'll, if you notice like all of these models in these pictures, they squint. It's called squint maxing, right? Like looks maxing, fucking whatever. Um, I don't know, whatever, all, all these things, all these jokes, right? So it's, it's like a joke. If you squint in pictures, you'll be more attractive. If you mew, you know, you're like, it's a called proper tongue posture. Um, you can, you can do all of these things to make yourself more attractive. Fine. You probably won't look like this guy who's like fucking top 0.01% genetics in the world. Like, what do you want? But, but if you, if this is you, you could still improve your appearance. Like this is, this is like, this is like, what's the equivalent here? It's like in the fitness world, right? All these, all these women, like, let's reverse it. And let's say like, what do men find attractive? Right. And you, you examine women, um, like one group of women who's like genetic specimen, right? They have like huge tits, huge ass, like narrow waist, like whatever, all the facial characteristics that men find attractive. Um, a, a, a woman who doesn't <coughs> who doesn't look like that can take steps to make herself look like that right by like changing her diet changing the way she works out i guess like you could argue getting breast implants fine um losing fat around your face like whatever you can you can do all of these things to improve yourself but if you if you just say oh well men like this type i'm not this type so i'm not going to try and i'm just going to be a fat blob who doesn't work on themselves like, what do you, why? Like, if, if honestly, if this video gets you down, maybe it will, maybe it actually will. Like, okay, sucks for you, but it doesn't matter who you are. If you fucking go to the gym and you like lose weight and like do all of these things that will make you look better, I guess it'll make you feel better. But really, honestly, at the end of the day, like just, just have a fucking good personality and like be nice. Honestly, it sounds like the most blue pill shit ever, but, but really that's what it comes down to. Just like make her laugh. Don't be a little bitch and fucking like go talk to a lot of girls and appear to have high status wherever you go. Really doesn't have to be that hard. Let's see. Simply not be attracted to certain features that typically characterize a particular phenotype. Today, features seen as Western or even exotic are more widely attractive than those that aren't, such as wider, more bulbous, thicker skin noses in some black and some East Asian people. Which of these black men's noses has wider Western appeal? Another example, non-Western features such as so-called single eyelids in many East Asians. This man had a blepharoplasty to westernize his eyes somewhat. Skin, elastic, supple, youthful, no sun damage, acne-free, wrinkle-free, pockmark-free, small pores. If you want to attract young attractive women, no nasal labial folds, which are permanent smile lines surrounding the nose and mouth, signaling aging, complexion, even, healthy, youthful, appropriate for your target audience. Body, body fat between 10 to 12 percent. This is the first step in improving your looks if overweight, as evidenced by this man seen here. Masculine build, thick neck, upper arms, forearms, wrists. Well, wow, isn't that hard to believe that's the same person? Or is this not the same person? Is that the same person? It, c that's not clear if, if it is. Um, it could be, I guess. 
I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell. Let's let's just listen to that again. Yes. Body, body fat between 10 to 12 percent. This is the first step in improving your looks if overweight, as evidenced by this man seen here. Yeah, the first step in improving your looks. So that implies that this is the same person. If this person improved their looks, we're saying losing weight is the first step in improving your looks. I, I guess this is the same person. So clearly, gentlemen out there, like, what excuse do you have? Look at this guy. Fucking looks like he's like fucking spends every single Friday night playing Dungeons and Dragons, like with his wizard friends, you know, goes to this right as a result of probably probably doing on fucking steroids or something. I don't know but probably got a fucking tan, got his ass in the gym, got a cool haircut. Like, what excuse do you have? Like, I don't fucking care how ugly you are. And again, this is only about looks, right? Looks are not everything. Like, if you're good looking, you don't just fucking walk down the street and have like women jumping on you trying to fucking ride your dick. It doesn't work like that. You still have to talk to them. You still have to be fucking personable. You still have to leave your house, you know? Masculine build, thick neck, upper arms, forearms, wrists, large frame, broad shouldered, athleticness. Penis length, 6 inches plus VPEL, 6.8 plus to be way above average. Penis girth, 5 inches plus, 5.5 plus to be way above average. We will look at these traits in more detail and how you can improve them soon. Coming up, how women treat average and below average looking men. And how they treat above average looking men. I'm David, and I'm from Berkshire. David, you are H O T T T T T. I'm still going to some subway single. <laughs> a short below average looking pickup artist entertains women with game and personality, but then gets rejected based on looks. Today, yelling pineapples and this much fun all the time. I want to invite you guys out. Oh, where? Why do you just give me the desk? <laughs> the brutal truth from women. So what would it take to get a date for Stu at five feet? We made him a millionaire. No, no, not for me. How Nothing worked. Cool. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, look, any of those things in and of themselves, like, what do you say? A short pickup artist gets rejected. Okay. And like, just because you study pickup does not mean every girl is going to like you. It doesn't work like that. Okay. It's not like, it's like sales. Okay. Just because you learn how to sell does not mean you're going to sell to every fucking person you ever talk to. Right. A, a small percentage are going to like you no matter what. A small percentage are not going to like you no matter what. And the fucking 80% in between, that's where the magic happens. That's where the art form comes into it with sales and pickup is a form of sales. Um, as far as Stu, which unironi like ironically is my name as well, who's five feet tall and a millionaire, like if, if you just line up a bunch of guys and you have one really short guy and you don't allow them to like properly demonstrate their personality. And if the guy's a fucking goober to begin with and you just say, oh, by the way, he's a millionaire, would you date him? That's not like, that's not, a good test of like you're, you're not allowing emotions to properly be engaged which I, I guess is kind of the point of this entire video which is that like if you if you keep things very sterile which is what tends to happen in like a in a scientific environment which to be fair all of these things are i guess fairly scientific but they're not the real world the real world is not like you don't fucking line up five guys in the real world and ask a girl like which one do you want to be in a relationship and then they pick that one and form a relationship with them it doesn't work it doesn't work like that the real world is much messier than that and there's a lot more variables at play and a lot more room for you anybody to fucking show their personality um but if you have a youtube channel that like is not about that and your like next video is about how to make yourself more attractive like think about it if you if you talk about here, looks are important w women looks are important to women here's why in the next video i'm going to show you how to improve your looks you understand like makes people want to watch the next video um so again like uh, what what's what's the problem with this right like if 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 this gets people to improve their looks that's good that's a good thing but if it gets them to improve their looks from a place of bitterness that's not a good thing Okay, because if you're thinking to yourself, oh my God, these girls are only, they only like me because I'm good looking, which they might like you more if you're good looking. They might give you more of a, of a chance if you're good looking, um, but that'll only like get you a little further ahead initially. Like you can still fuck it up, basically. It's not hard, you know what I mean? So anyway, bottom line, like, come on people. Like it's a very, it's a very popular message. This like looks money status thing because it, it's, it's very easy to draw the conclusion from this. Like it's all about face and frame or looks money and status. I don't have those things. So why should I try? The world is unfair. I'm angry. You know, it's not fair. Women are whores. You know what I mean? Feminism is bad. That's if that's the conclusion that you draw from this sucks to be you because your life is going to be really bad as a result that that was me kind of, uh, that wasn't my specific problem. 
I had a similar problem where I was just like, oh my God, like it's pointless for me to ever talk to a girl ever again. You know, I'm, I'm not, whatever. Anyway, I thought it was pointless. I let it get to me for sadly several years of my life. It took me out of the game. I regret it. For sure, I regret it. Absolutely, 100%. I wish I, you know, I had to take that trip to the dark side to understand it, I guess. Regret spending so much time there. Wish I hadn't spent so much time there because overall, I don't want to say these things don't matter. They don't matter as much as you think they matter. And by working on ways to circumvent this, you improve yourself as a person far beyond what most people actually will be. Okay, so whoever told me to do this, thank you for telling me to do this. If you guys have any other recommendations for videos or YouTubers, let me know. Peace.